welcome back to my channel today i have a project share uh this is a mail that is going to go to francesca a while ago she sent me some really amazing mail i will link it down below if you haven't seen that video you should totally go check it out because it was just perfection and so i wanted to make something pretty for her as well and i did this the box it was just a reuse box i think it came with cake if i'm not mistaken it already had the window i just turned it into a shaker and i kept it really plain uh mostly because you know uh, this is going on the mail so if i decorate it a lot then it would probably just get there all uh destroyed so i just did the shaker and i put some pretty paper and then she can do it with it what she will she can use it to store something up she can embellish further and then send it to someone else whatever she would like to do with it so it's just a really plain box and then i'm really really excited for this because i think it looks so cute i really love 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 the way it turned out so I made her a binder and it's like a, an embellishment binder. It has embellishments inside and this is the box. It, already, it also had a little window on this side. So I put some sequins in there as well. And I think it looks just pretty cute. I put paper all over and that's the box. And then she really likes the flourish. Flourish? No, it's not flourish. No, but I think she likes flourish as well. But flourish and... The Willow Lane collection. I really like Willow Lane as well. So I tried to use as much Willow Lane as I had and Flourish as well. So this is what it turned out. So for the front, this here is a frame. This one here from Ikea. It costs one euro. That's about a little less than a dollar, I think, because euro is worth more than a dollar right now. So I use this. I'm sending one of these to her as well in case she would like to do something with it. And that's what I use in here. And so the, um, the sequins wouldn't just pile on the bottom. I used some foam. It's not perfect, but it kind of do the job. And just put it like this. And I had another stripe on the back as well. So the sequins would kind of hold in the three spots. Normally when I do my shakers like this, they are really big. I just stitched stitch in the middle. But in this case, I couldn't really stitch it. So this is what I came up with. So they will mostly stay on their designated spots. And then this is the cluster that I made and I absolutely love it. I think it's so, so pretty. Of course I use the panda because this is one of my favorite pieces from Willow Lane. I love this panda so much. And I have flowers and a little bee. I put the butterfly here. I'm pretty sure to hide some mess inside, but I think it looks really cute, especially like with a trail. And I love it so, so much. And then I use this really pretty paper. I think this is a new collection from Maggie Holmes, this paper, I think. And then this one is Rain Crash Studio, if I'm not mistaken. And I absolutely love this paper. I wish I had more of it, but this is the only one I had. And then on the back, it's just this pretty paper. It was so beautiful, you really didn't need to do anything with it. And as you can see, it's a binder. And uh, I actually put some of that paper that I love, Maggie Holmes, uh, on the borders of the frame, just so it looked prettier. And I think it looks so pretty. And then for the closure, I just used a strip of paper and I tucked it inside when I glued the frame I made sure to leave the space in here to tuck the closure in it's not a really strong closure but it does the job so and then when you open it up it's like this and this is a pocket and it's a really really tiny pocket you can barely put anything in the here I really didn't think it through I should have made it a little bit bigger if I actually wanted to put something in but it's okay I just put the little shaker in here I will probably put my note in this one or in the one in the back probably in this one and I think it's okay it doesn't matter I uh, did it with a little of a shape because I thought it looked prettier that way and it has this cute embellishment up in the front and again the beautiful paper that I love 
uh, I mentioned in another video what this paper was, but I'm not really sure if that's up already or if it's going up afterwards. So I will just mention it again because I think this paper is so pretty. This is from Woodland Grove by Maggie Holmes. It's called Gathered. And I just it's just the most beautiful paper ever. I really like it. I really like the tones. And then I have some inserts. So most of these inserts, I have had the idea from Michelle strawberry something I'm sorry Michelle I can't remember right now the name but I will make sure to link it down below if you like flat mail if that's your thing you should totally go see her YouTube video because she has like tons of ideas for flat mail this one actually I saw on Pinterest she I think she must have a Pinterest page and it show and I have Sorry, I my I need to put my I need to charge my phone. So give me just a second so that I can play it in. Uh, but I see her ideas on Pinterest a lot. They show for me a lot, and it had a lot of these inserts because she does mostly uh, flat mail, and I really really like them. So I kind of take took liberties with the ideas that she pull that she posted. But the inspiration of for this a lot was from her. So I'm going to put it down below so you can check it out. So this one, I absolutely love how this one turned out. It's I think it's my favorite. And let me just open it up and I will take them out. First, I love the paper. This paper is also just the most beautiful thing ever. It's just so pretty. And then, as you can see, you can take it out from here. And I, I think it's so pretty. It's just so simple, but I, I absolutely love it. I think it's beautiful. <laughs> and then you open it up and inside I have two embellishments. So one that I embellished and it looks super cute. These words, it was Francesca who sent them to me. So I'm sending it back on something. And then one for her to embellish. And I just think it's just so, so, so cute. So this is the first. And then this is the second. This one, I don't know, I just made it. it. It has two pockets. And then on this one, I made some hanger embellishment. And these hangers, it was... Oh, Elena. Elena, that sent me. Elena de Vicente. I will link it down below as well. She sent me some amazing mail as well. I will link that. And she sent me uh, some hanger that she made. I think she, she does 3D, 3D printing. And she does some awesome things. So I'll link down below so you can see what she sent me. And she sent me this really cool hanger. So I made one that it's decorated. And the other one, it's not decorated. It's for her to decorate. And then on the box, on the, on the other pocket. Oh no. I think, can I open this? It had a bow and a knot, and I think the bow turned into a knot, so now it's a little bit difficult to open. Let me see if I... I think this video is going to be really long, because I cannot open this. Ah, okay, I'm just going to cut it, and then I'll, I'll just put a new one, or we're going to stay here all night, all day. It's not night, it's actually morning. So, there we go. Inside, I just have a tiny clipboard and this is separate you can take it out this was Maya from my sheet that made me and it's just a little embellishment with a shaker and a little clipboard and I think it looks cute so you can put it in here and this side now this one it's like this and it's a pocket and I think it's so cute as well <laughs> and it looks like this and inside I have two embellishments these are uh half circles and uh are circles and half is a shaker the other half is not a shaker and i'm sorry for the glare but i really don't want to take it out of the plastic because it's already packaged so i think it looks really cute i love buddies i just <laughs> notice that it's the same <laughs> so this one and then we have this one here, I put a little F for Francesca. It's little, I don't know, it looks like an, 
uh, closet <laughs> so you do it like this and then you open it up and it this one is fixed and this in this side i have two hangers but these ones are bigger and this is the embellished one and this one is for her to embellish and i think it looks so cute typewriters are also something that i really like to use so like this and then i will close it later and then on the other side this one is decorated and this one as well was francesca that sent it to me and the word i really like to use the things that people send me to send them back i think it's really nice i like when people do that with my things it's really cute and then on this one i just have it's just a normal baggie and i also uh i think this i'm sure if i made this back to her if I just, yeah, I think I'm reusing this back topper. Someone sent me this back topper, I'm pretty sure. I put just this little pom-pom clip here just to keep the back topper in place. I don't really like to glue these types of things because then the person can reuse it. And then on inside, I have two embellishments here. And the third one here, this one is embellished as well. These are little pockets with a tag. You pull the tag up. And I think they look pretty cute and on the back I have some for her so she can decorate as she wants and then lastly on this side I just put another shaker that I made so she can decorate it I think this one is just a simple thing it looks pretty cute and again the really tight pocket that I didn't really think through but I think it looks pretty cute I like the the shape of it so let's put it here. I still have just uh, two other things to show you. Let me just put this in here to make sure that it stays here and this one. Okay. And this is the binder. I really like, really like this cover. I think it's so cute. Uh, And then I have two back toppers that I made. This one and this one. And I think they're really, really cute. And I have a banner that I also made a while ago. But I knew this one was going to go to her. Because, like I said, she really likes these collections. And this is it. And then I just have some tiny flowers that I made. These ones are using some sequins, and I think it looks really cute. So yeah, this is what I'm sending to Francesca. I also have a few store-bought gifts, but uh, I don't really want to gonna show those. It's not important. So this is the binder that I made. I'm really, really happy how it turned out. I think it looks really, really pretty, and I really love the, the front of it and yeah i hope you enjoyed this video let me know if you have any questions about how i made anything or any of the collections i will try to find it for you and i will link it down below see if i don't forget to link it if i do uh any something that you want to see please remind me because sometimes i do forget and yeah i hope everyone is having a wonderful time bye